Be prepared for highly offensive language. Tonight, friendships are put to the test. That whole thing yesterday was to throw us under the bus. I, I'm starting to go around to the point now where I just. I don't think it was that. at all. I think you're adding to mad paranoia here. But we don't know, Kian. Well, what you don't know until you get out. There's no point speculating in here about it. Oh my god, shut the fuck off. What, are you getting defensive for? I'm not allowed to have an opinion on something that's affecting me. We are now sitting here wondering whether someone's chatting complete shit on the outside about us and questioning our character without us having to be able to defend our fucking selves. If I hear one more thing, I am going to fart fire. I cannot listen to it anymore. And he's making Cameron really paranoid now. If that was him in this position, he'd be reacting in exactly the same fucking way. So that reaction's bullshit and that's pissed me off. Dear 19932 AM. It's the morning after the night before when Keir decided to leave and the housemates enjoyed a raucous party. Good morning, housemates. Good it's morning. time to rise and shine, as today's game changer will be happening imminently. <gasps> well, well, now, well, housemates should get ready immediately and gather at the dining room table. Oh, the game changer will begin soon. Are you serious? Oh my god, I'm Is this some kind of sick joke? This is Big Brother. Kian. Hi. As Kay has left the Big Brother house, you now need to choose one more housemate to take part in today's Game Changer. Could you now let Big Brother know which housemate you have chosen and why? Uh, I'm going to choose Cameron. Because he loves tasks and he's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's time for this week's Game Changer, Last Housemate Standing, where the winner can change the fate of any nominated housemate. What the fuck? Joining Kian and Cameron in this week's Game Changer are nominated housemates Akeem, Brooke, Kennelly, Oh my god, I don't like this. And Isaac. This is Big Brother. Would Akeem collect the instruction envelope from the podium and read the instructions aloud to the housemates? The remaining housemates have been gathered in the living room. Housemates, welcome to this week's Game Changer. Last housemate standing. Big Brother hopes your heads aren't too sore this morning, as this Game Changer will require housemates to be mentally on the ball and remember the facts about last night and the rest of your time in the Big Brother house. This is a true or false quiz. As you can see, you are each standing on your own set of steps. The step up for true, or step down for false. Any housemate who gets a question wrong will be eliminated immediately from the game. In the event that all housemates get the same question wrong, all housemates will remain in the game. The same will apply if all housemates get a question correct. When there are only two housemates left, the quiz will become sudden death. Big Brother hopes you were play, paying attention last night, as the first card will be based on the details of last night's party. Good luck, guys, Big Brother. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> That's what the party was for, then. Key looks like Kenny off South Park, or was it up like <laughs> <laughs> This is Big Brother. Tom adds, at the auction, you brought the Extra Life token. This has the power to save one housemate from being eliminated when they answer a question incorrectly in the Game Changer. <coughs> this token may only be used once to save one housemate from being eliminated. Tomaz, it is up to you to decide when you wish to use this extra life and which housemate you wish to give it to. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, Big Brother. Thank you. The Game Changer is about to begin. 
True or false? At last night's party, the disposable cups provided by Big Brother were the colours red, blue and green. No. False. 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 Still purple, False. yeah. Go on, Kian, lad. Come on, Come on, what are you doing? Oh. Come on, what the fuck? Oh. Brooke, come on, come on, bro. Uh, bro, what the fuck? Did you ever put that? No! Oh, 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 what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The correct answer is false. Oh. Akeem and Brooke are now eliminated. <sighs> eliminated housemates should take a seat on the losing bench. It was red and blue. It wasn't green. <laughs> <laughs> True or false? There were three hanging disco balls at last night's party. No. Two. I didn't see three. I didn't see three. Didn't see three. <gasps> Henley's Can out. You? There's yeah. two. There was one near the mirror, near the back door, and there was one near the kitchen. But then Don't... there's a big one in the middle. Really? The big one of a table, yeah. Kenley's right, then everyone's out, if it's true. This is Big Brother. The correct answer is... True. Well done, Kenna. Yeah. Kian? Cameron and Isaac are now eliminated. <gasps> I'm using my extra life, big brother. Kenny. I'm using my extra life on Isaac. Kenny would have won that then, if you didn't have that extra life. I know. This is big brother. Thomas has used his extra life and given it to Isaac. <laughs> he and Cameron should now take their place on the losing bench. So they've both just basically got a chance to save themselves. Yeah. With a little help from Tom. True or false? The third song that was played into the house was Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. No, false. No. It was rude by, wasn't it? Yeah. False. Yeah. <laughs> Kenley will know that. Oh! <laughs> No! Oh, oh, oh my god. The correct answer is false. The third song played in was Dua Lipa Electricity. Oh, well, I got it wrong, but I knew what yeah. we were on about. <laughs> As Kennelly and Isaac had both answered incorrectly, no one has been eliminated, and housemates should return to their starting position. Stress of it all. The next round is based on the fixtures and fittings in the Big Brother house. Oh. Shit. Oh, no. They can go anyway. True or false? On the storeroom door, the word store is on an orange background. I have to fucking figure yeah, fuck out. Is it blue? Oh, orange. Excuse me. <laughs> oh! Oh, someone's gonna win! <laughs> I just said false because I thought it would blow. Yeah, same. This is Big Brother. The correct answer is. False. Congratulations, Kennelly. You are the last housemate standing wow. and are the winner of the game changer. Well done, Ken. Well done, Ken. Well done, Ken. This is Big Brother. Kennelly, it is decision time. Oh. <laughs> you you must now state who you would like to save and your reasons why. To be honest, it didn't actually feel good because I feel like. Obviously, people wanted me up for nomination, which is why I was up. So it don't even feel good saving myself anyway, because it's just like I don't really know 
Yeah. But obviously I'm going to save myself because I worked hard for it and it is what it is. Yes. Kennelly, you are now safe from eviction. Yeah. Housemates facing the public vote this week are Akeem, Brooke and Isaac. Well done, Ken. <laughs> <coughs> well done, Ken. Well done, Ken. Well done, Ken. Well done, I'm proud of you. Well done, girls. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, mate. Don't feel bad about you, though. Coming up, Kian has a warning for Thomas. You possibly are setting yourself up to be a scapegoat, and you know that. Yeah, but I am having fun like this. Be prepared for highly offensive language. Twelve or one p.m. Isaac has a question for Cameron. Who would you have saved, be honest? I have no idea, I couldn't make a decision. Interesting. Who was it between? You and Brooke. Hmm. I like the honesty. So fuck Akeem, yeah? Yeah, fuck Akeem. <laughs> <laughs> he beat me yesterday. He's, he's got a strategy anyway, he meant to be in the exactly. game changer. Yeah, he he's meant to lose as well. Guys of the public like me, they'll, You've got they'll keep me. You've got something up your fucking sleeve for, the, for Friday, I don't doubt it, bro. What do you, you mean? You are big brother. <laughs> big brother. He's a mole, he's been planted here. Nah, if a top big leg beat him, he'll keep me. You know? You'll do something, you'll fix it somehow. <laughs> fix it. Yeah. The only reason I wasn't considering the key is because he usually wins anyway. Thank you, Cameron, for your honesty. Give me a hop. So no, happy. It's good. Yeah, but I feel like. Obviously, it's that thing, like. It's just time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just scared. It's not that scary. I'm so glad one of us guys, I'm so glad. It's just scary, isn't it? Like, it's so scary. For fuck's sake. Like, not knowing what you did and stuff like that. I get it. No, honestly, I'm feeling shit because I'm not, I'm not wanted here. You're no. Right. no, but it's like I'm not. People don't want me here, so I've just. Only because I fucking won. It's shit. You just need to be the best version of yourself and exactly what you came here to do and enjoy it. And then if you're up next week and you go next week, fuck them. Again, but at least yeah. you get another week. You look at it like that. You get another two weeks now. Rest of this week and the rest of next week. That's so you okay. That's so good. Yeah, I'm literally just well, like... How you feel it? I'm just worried. I'm just like, that's the only reason I'm crying. So, it's just worrying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but, uh, really, you obviously you ain't going nowhere, but I know that I know I know the feeling. <sighs> One thirty six PM Thomas has a question for Cameron. Did you really want it? What? The extra life? No. No, I am actually happy you gave it to someone in the game because yeah. um, I I would uh, no, I don't want to have a problem with you. Because you didn't say anything. What? I don't give a fuck about the extra life. OK. Kennelly is talking to Big Brother about winning the Game Changer. I remember saying, like, oh, I'm shit at this. But... Obviously not. I enjoyed it, but it was just, like, as soon as I heard Brooke was out and then me winning, it felt a bit shit. I was thinking about saving Brooke, but then I just thought, you know, why... I'm going to use it on myself at the end of the day. Thomas's game playing is the topic of conversation. I don't trust him. I think he, near he just so latches on to the people that he thinks are going to be safe. really liked and yeah. really safe. We just don't get the need to want to play a game and make alliances in here when we don't need to. I don't understand why we should feel threatened enough to make strategies inside here. No. I, I don't. It takes too much effort. It's going to backfire because if oh, it goes is this week... Look at this. Who's saving Thomas next week? Like, we're all building each other up to, like, whoever wins, I'm so happy for you. That's how we live here. Yeah. Like, we're just happy for whoever is going to win. Yeah. But I really just think that he just wants to win. Mm -hmm. And that is what his head is saying. And we're all just competition to and, be and brought down. Well, it's just like... I'm not disregarding his 
past, whatever, but going on, like, I've gone through my life and I have nothing. And I, I came from fucking nothing myself. All of us did. Yeah, All that's the point. Have, we've had no taste of this. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not shouting at people's faces to make them feel better, to try and tell people, you know, maybe this is why I deserve to win. I deserve to win because I deserve to win. Yeah. It's not my decision, it's the public. I yeah. don't come from, I came here with fucking no money in my fucking bank account. Yeah, yeah. Every, literally. Sing, yeah every single person did. here deserves to, to win. That's the point. But Do you know what I mean? Who, like, I'm not trying to put money above the other, like, oh, the world owes me a favour, I need yeah. to win this. No. Three or three p.m. Thomas has a question for Sean. Do you mean like hang out with Lewis? No. That's I just realized I never see you guys together. No. Ever. No. The answer. Would you even like to like be able to speak to him about stuff? I could talk to him. That's weird. I don't man. think even his lips listen to each other. I just realized now. I was like, hmm. Yeah. We're just, as personalities, do not click. Yeah, absolutely. What? Who? No, I was just so asking you her. talk to Lewis as now. I can never see her hanging out with Lewis, you know? I could never imagine us being friends. Lewis and Cameron are talking about Keir's departure. How are you feeling after last night? I'm good, mate. I don't fucking doubt wrong. I'm not going to let no one ruin my experience because I decided to leave. I'm sad she's left. I feel bad that she's left. Oh, no, I do wish her the best, but and I do feel a little bit guilty whether I should or not is, is really... I don't feel bad she left. I'm glad but... she left. She wasn't happy here. Um, she said a lot of shit about me, which made me feel like shit. Um, yeah, I'm not letting anyone ruin my experience anymore. Um, I haven't done nothing wrong. She decided to leave of her own accord. I've done nothing but try to make her feel welcome and comfortable since the first day she got here. Unless I'm completely insane, I'm a cunt, it's my fault. Zoe is talking to Big Brother about her friends in the house. Kian, Cameron, Brooke, um, Isaac, Louis F, um, and Shan, probably, like, she's, um, I don't know, I just haven't really been drawn towards Shan. Not in a negative way, but just because, I think it's because I've made these bonds with the other people um, and I'm comfortable. That, and some of the things that like she talks about don't not that it doesn't interest me, but it's not like my go-to topic. Some of the things that she's done, like talking over people, talk well talking over some of the stuff that I've been talking about, and if someone said something like for people to join in and give their opinion, then I give mine, and someone butts in, that'll piss me off. That annoys me. It's like just. Sometimes I'll I'll catch her looking at me, and it's not like with a smile, and 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 it's fine if she doesn't like me. That's that's fine. Like I'm not bothered, but she she might be doing the same thing. So I might be doing something that's pissing her off, but not to the point where she needs to tell me yet. But, and that's the same for me. Like she's doing something that like that annoys me on the outside anyway, but it's not to the point yet that I need to say for fuck's sake, shut up. <laughs> not even like I won't say it like that, but like. I'm pr like if it were up to like this is when I'll go because obviously I can't get much higher than that. But I'm probably about here. Three fifty-seven p.m. Some of the housemates are playing charades. <laughs> Let's go. I hope you've had a good night. I've had such a good night. Yeah, me too. Who the fuck okay. are you? We're the new sorority! What? How's oh, me? No, no, it's no. that one with Zac Efron. Yeah. Bad Neighbours. Yeah. Oh. Oh. House Bunny. <laughs> My first serious answer as well. <laughs> I really do like her like that. Thank you. Mm. I might borrow some of your gel and do mine like that. Yeah. Oh, I've got it. one to do. <sighs> do you think that you're friends and family with these people, but they're all here to win? Mm. That's why well, I, I genuinely i have come here to make connection, real connections. Yeah, with well, yeah, people, I think me and you have. But I don't think a lot of people. I think some people genuinely haven't. Kian has come to give Thomas some advice. There are such negative connotations that come with being a game player that people might not 
trust you as much as they once would have. Right. But that doesn't mean that it's set in stone. You can always reverse things in this house. Like I can even speak for myself that I was, I did find things bizarre with you, with, you know, Isaac and stuff. And I won't lie, including myself, that maybe it's to get further in the game because you feel like he might protect you or whatever. And you have been honest with being game playing and stuff, but you possibly are setting yourself up to be a scapegoat and you know that. Yeah. But I am having fun like this. If you're having fun with playing the game, that's cool for you. Can I try? You know what I mean? Of course you can. Yeah. Um, but maybe I have lost a little bit of trust in you or I have doubted your actions, but I'm coming to you like this. I obviously do see, I want to maintain a relationship with you yeah. because we got on so well at the start and you're my sister in here and I don't want to let you throw yourself under a, a bus, you know? Mm. But the way I see it, since I can't just like do anything half-ass, you know, I'm just gonna go out swinging, you know? At least you're being honest about it. But some things I can't condone. But whenever I can't, I'll tell you, just watch out for this or watch out for that because you got so much other fun aspects of your personality. You're fun, you're caring, you're actually quite intelligent. But when I'm in this situation, I just can't, it's just stronger than me. Nothing stronger than yourself. You can hold it. Four thirty-two p.m. Sean wants the gossip. What's everyone else talking about? Me. Doing what? You must have heard anyway. No. What a big bad wolf I am. No. Oh, who gives a fuck, mate? Fuck And nobody can trust me now because I'm a game player. You are a game player. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> you would cheat on anyone in this to get to top, but if you're coming in to play a game, that's what you do. But the problem is that it's not really to that extent because when I can, I will help my friends in the process. Exactly. And that's not coming across like that, you know? Fuck it. Brooke is giving Akeem a new look. Was that your head? No. That hurt? I didn't feel a thing. OK, maybe it wasn't then. Fucking hell. We're so careful with these scissors. Yeah, try not to brain damage me. Imagine. Cameron and Lewis are still talking about care. I just don't like the thought of her being out there today spurting bullshit online and we cannot defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. I don't think she will. She's caused uh, the no. situation. No, she's I done don't it, she's think done she She's done it for days. All she's been saying for, for over a week now is it's just a toxic environment. It's not a toxic environment. It's an environment that's exposing your toxicity within yourself. If she does, we the only thing we can do is trust our actions defend themselves. And if they don't, we're fucked. I, don't, I think I you're think adding if, to mad paranoia here. I think if she were to post them on social media, she wouldn't mention them. She'd just explain why she left. That whole thing yesterday was to throw us under the bus. I, I'm starting to go round to the point now where I genuinely I don't think it was that. at all. I think she actually couldn't help it here. Nah, bullshit. I don't think it was... She's been saying it for a long time, haven't she? Yeah, yeah but, yeah, so we, yeah, but what, we're saying is, what we're saying is, though, she's been saying it for a long time, but she's not had valid reasons to leave, and we think she used the arguments between me and Cameron as their reason to leave. No, I, th no, I think night, she knew during she the was leaving Friday. During the conversation with me, me and her last night, she went from being emotionally distraught, because I was responding to her opinion, to being absolutely ec 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 ecstatically happy coming out saying she's leaving. Within yeah, like but that could have been a massive relief off her shoulder. Yeah, but it, it will be, but it's at mine at expense. That's what we're saying. Jeez, I don't think it's at her. If she it was at her expense, she would have said, I'm leaving because don't of you. Know. But, but she, she might have in the diary room, that's what we're saying. We don't know, Kian. Well, well, you don't know. You don't know until you get out. There's no point speculating in here about she it. She felt that because Friday she was at Fulgrit, she, she said it at friggin' self, she said that, that she felt like she was going. Yeah. Did she not? She fucking did. So then why why, why not wait oh till God, Friday then? the fuck off. What, are you getting defensive for? I'm not allowed to have an opinion on something that's affecting me. Shut the fuck up. Do my fucking nothing. We could give a fucking painkiller a headache. We have to be shut the fuck up, apparently. We are now sitting here wondering whether someone's chatting complete shit on the outside about us and questioning our character without us having to be able to defend our fucking selves. So I don't understand why he's getting shitty with us. Because if that was him in this position, he'd be reacting in exactly the same fucking way. Exactly. So that reaction's bullshit, and that's pissed me off. If I hear one more thing about why <laughs> Kay walked last night, I am going to fart fire. I cannot listen to it anymore. It's driving me around the fucking bend. It's because he eats. And if you're saying that, seriously, and he's making Cameron really paranoid now. Stop on about it. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. 
Coming up, Brooke gets emotional. I've obviously done something that people don't want to live with. Fuck it. Be prepared for offensive language. Five fifteen p.m. Brooke has come to speak to Big Brother about facing eviction, unaware it was actually a secret viewer vote that led to her nomination. I always thought if I was up for eviction, at least I'd be like, oh yeah, that makes sense because that happened and obviously they'd put me up for a nomination. But then when no one's ever said anything to you and everyone is like, I'm so shocked you're up for eviction and every single person hugs you after and says they're shocked and don't want you to leave, you just think, well, well who did it then? Why are you shocked? Because some, like, it's got to be a minimum of like two people. So like... Two people are like looking at me in the face and saying they're shocked that I'm up for eviction when they nominated me. It's just hard not having an explanation. And Kenny said she felt the same because we haven't had any arguments, so it must be something that someone's not said to me that they feel about me. When you're with so many... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> when you're with people 24 hours a day... Um, Oh, fuck's sake, how cringy. I don't know what I've done. Like, I could have done something so bad that people want to get me out and I don't want to embarrass myself when I've been, like, obviously done something that people don't want to live with. Fuck it. Do you think you're going to have a chat with Thomas today? Who, me? Yeah, possibly a little bit later. <laughs> Hopefully. It's fucking falling apart, this house, isn't it? Yeah, I've heard it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. You know... Interesting. Very interesting. What's the issue, Keen? We were just like discussing what happened last night. You're adding to your paranoia. I know, like, but I massively. I don't it's annoying to see being paranoid. I don't. You're not going to know what's being said on the outside, but it's not going to be that important. I don't. I genuinely not for, not believe it's not, not, but for it's us, it might be. Because it's not involving you in the nicest possible but, way. But keeping on about it, not about it, not about it, is going to make a thing about us. You know what I mean? But there's already a <laughs> thing for us there, Keen. That's what we're trying to say in our mind. There's already a thing that we want to kind of dress. I don't see how that's affecting you in a way where you're telling us to shut the fuck up and that. Yeah, it is, it's so annoying. I cannot be around listening to it anymore. I, I can't. I just want to shake you and say, stop, relax, breathe it. This time next week, someone else will have left the house. It will be forgotten about. Yeah, but for the time being now, though, something might be something's affecting us and where we should be allowed to discuss that. If you want to discuss it too, but it's the same stories over and over again. It's not like the you same cannot, story. It's not, it's not the same have, story. It, you could literally just have gotten to the bottom of us just <clears throat> once. It's literally, she, she left last night. We've not been talking. If we were talking about this even tomorrow, then I'd say fair enough if you want to get, have a fuss about it. I understand you've seen a different side to her, and that's fine. I'm not asking you to pick sides at all. But from what we've seen from her, it's not that much of a stretch to think that she did that deliberately last night to make us look bad and throw us under the bus, and that she could be out there now trying to throw us under the bus more. And I'm sorry, but naturally I'm concerned and paranoid about what my friends, my family, the outside world is thinking, and we cannot defend ourselves in here. All we've got is our minds to think about it. If you don't like the conversation, I understand it's probably irritating for you. I understand it's repetitive. I understand it's boring. In the I do not mean this in a mean way, but there are, there's a lots of other places you can go in the house. If we're having the conversation and you can't deal with it, you know, le leave the room. And tomorrow, I'm not talking about it tomorrow because I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. It's the yeah, it's, fucking it's day. over and over again, Cameron. Seriously, and I'm not the only one seeing it in the That's house. That's fine. I don't give a shit about what other people are saying in the house. But they don't like it. Well, then they should have the balls to come and say it. But your reaction is not... I'm, I don't appreciate it. I because left the room so I could position, come back and have a civil conversation because I felt there I could have shouted. And you know that you I do shout. walk away. No, because you know I do walk away when I want to shout because I don't like shouting. I really don't like us. Well, I'm sorry I pissed you off. I I am sorry, and I'm sorry too if I've pissed you off, but I want you to see where I'm coming from. Mm. Yeah. I but I get what you're saying, and I apologise. And I will say no more, but I do apologise. No, I appreciate the concern, man. I can tell it comes from a place of love. No problem.
6.57 p.m. Do you know what, Brock? I think you've done the right job. Well, it was a fuck-up, but then it got better. Well, I like it more. What do you think? Oh, I got a few scars, haven't I? Yeah, you have. You've got scars back here as well, but they look cool. Cameron is feeling down. No, don't, don't, Jesus. What's no. up, we are? I'm in pain. Huh? What's up? I don't know, everyone seems to be pissed off. About what? I don't know, about me. I mean, Keen's like, pissed off at me now. Thomas is pissed off at me. He's not talking to me. He's not even looking at me. I mean, I don't understand what's happened. So, I'm just sitting there. Keen's not pissed off with you, is he? Huh? He is. Oh, I can tell. Discreetly. Or maybe I've been paranoid again. I'm not being paranoid. Uh, again. Why, what happened? Did you just get in a vibe? No, he no, was in here. No, we're talking about the K thing. No, I knew night. you lot were chatting and that. Yeah, and then he got up and was stormed out and was like, shut the fuck up. Then said, uh, sorry for sort of getting angry. Yeah. We thought it was fine, and now he's fucking being weird with me. I don't understand. I don't get this house. People are like fucking five year olds in it. I'm the <laughs> one who's been called a child, yet everyone's acting like a five year old. Sean is talking to Big Brother about Lewis. Lewis is like the closest to me disliking anybody. He's been grating on me a lot, but it's not stuff that I care about. I can just go laugh it off. I don't care. If you ever, I feel like if you ever started on me, then I'd fucking give him what for because I can't stand people that think they're always right. If you have to repeat your sin six times over the same point, you can't, you don't believe your sin because you're trying to convince your sin than me. Just tell me once, fuck off. I just don't get it. And then everything has to be analysed. I'm not, I'm not a person that can sit there and be analysed by somebody. I'm definitely not. Kennelly is filling Kian in on Cameron. What did he say? If he thought that you guys had addressed it, whatever, and he's like, now he just feels that you're being a bit off. So just maybe make, if you're not, maybe just... No, I feel like he's off me. Yeah, so I think he's upset about that, so I think you're both feeling the same. Like, I don't regret what I said inside no, you, sir. I don't feel it should. Like... You're just addressed, like... But I feel like it's evidence to the house that it is annoying to be in a room yeah. when a certain topic is being repeated so yeah. many times, yeah. it's really withering. Yeah. But I also then think as well, I wonder if he's going to like feel comfortable enough to talk to me about certain things from no one out, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, obviously I do like Lewis Steph and I got that one really well from the start, but mm. Cameron is my main yeah, yeah. person. No, honestly, you've got nothing to worry about. He's feeling a bit like how you are. Yeah. He's a bit sad about it. Seven sixteen p.m. Lewis is sharing his thoughts on his fellow housemates. People's true colours are starting to show. Thomas, Thomas is a little weasel, absolute slithering of the house, Just walking about, speaking in parcel tongue. Every time he walks past me, all I can hear is C I R S I. C I R S I. Can't even listen to him without listening to the fucking the parcel tongue coming out of his mouth. What a little fucking weasel he is, absolute weasel. And I just, I'm just not liking them all right now. Um, I'm starting to see people for who they really are. The cracks are starting to show. I'm basically living in a fucking reptile zoo. There's snakes everywhere. Little fucking lizards everywhere. Little weasels running about fucking trying to fuck people over for their own benefit. And I don't like it. Cameron has joined Thomas in the garden. So I've been thinking you've been pissed off at me all day. Oh, no. No, uh... I did. I thought that you got offended because I chucked the extra life and I didn't give a fuck about the extra no, life. No, fuck that, man. I couldn't give a fuck. I know your sarcasm fuck. very well. I would never get offended by sarcasm. But <laughs> it's just funny to me. I'm fucked now, man. Cheers. What? Because your game's been... Expressed. But not only that, it's just like people just think shit. Do you know what I mean? You are neglecting relationships in here solely to play the game. No, absolutely not. Which is probably, let's be honest, is has backfired. Big time, because now your game's out, and any good game player knows as soon as you reveal your game, you're fucked. Which is exactly what's happened here. Yeah, but I don't want to be... I don't want to, like, have connections with, with like, some people. Well, that's fine. That's fair enough. That's fine. And I'll die by the sword. Don't worry. It's fine. It's OK. At least I'm going to go out swinging. It's fine. <laughs> it's OK, Cameron. It's OK. We're going to meet up to this... You're just... I just feel like this... You're just self-destructive. Without even knowing. Yeah, it's okay, but it's not gonna have an effect though. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I keep fucking saying. It's pointless. It's, 
<laughs> you're not listening. You're never going to listen. I listen to you, no, but I just can't help it. You're listening, but you're never going to change. I don't want to change you. <laughs> so you, no one to change me. It's worth time. Let me die by the sword. I don't want to, but I don't want to see you die by the sword. I'd rather see you live by the sword. That's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm going to need to change my battery. For fuck's sake. Uh. <laughs> it's just pointless having this conversation with you. We had it like four times. I know. And we're getting nowhere. I know, but I love you now. Come here. I love you. I love you, you too. Much. So, so much. Goodness gracious. Coming up, Lewis doesn't hold back. Proper piss me. I can't stand the fucking little snake. Weasley two faced people. Hates, hate people like that. Eight or nine p.m. Brooke is talking to Kian and Kennelly about Lewis. I love, I love what he says. Yeah, but I almost, yeah. I almost don't, I don't. It's like when you, it's like YouTube video after YouTube video. Do I mean, eventually, like, and you don't force we, it on people either. And we don't always. It's about an actual yeah. conversation, like. And I feel like we have all got depth. We can all be very deep. We've all got that. As a, got that about us. Yeah. Not a single person in this house is dumb. And the way he talks to all of us is kind of like we're just making dumb points. It's very time. pompous. Yeah. 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 It's like we, we. It's like he's right, and we are yet to learn because none of us are pissed off enough by it to say anything because it's not worth it. Because what he's saying is interesting. But we don't, in order to prove to the nation that we're not done, we don't constantly need to talk yeah. about that because I feel drained. Yeah. The crack is starting to show in the Big Brother house. People are starting to piss me off. Proper piss me off. I can't stand fucking little snake, Weasley two-faced people. Hates, hate people like that. I'm in a foul mood. People are proper pissing me off. There's just no escape in here. I'm gonna go and sit in the living room for the rest of the night, mean. Come in the hot tub. Just sitting there, I ain't gonna talk. I'll just sit in there. And Keen will probably come in, but. If he, I'm, I can't be around him right now. It's that thing though, isn't it? Everyone's now lost their scapegoat. Everyone's lost somebody who they can actually just easily vent about. So now people are venting to other people and people are starting to fucking lose their shit. Cause I'll struggle because, come to think of it now, there was only Brooke and Kay, like Brooke and Kay mainly, I have proper like in-depth, in-depth conversation, obviously it's about, it's about like topics that you aren't really bothered about, like what? spirituality and like life and becoming a better person and shit like that. Why do you think I'm not bothered about those topics? Because you're not. If you okay. were, you would speak about your own shit. Eleven fifty-seven p.m. Thomas has been surprised by his housemates. I really was expecting everybody to be in their on like in like on the throat. Do you know what I mean? It's that deep, deep connection that that threw me off the loop. This house is like falling in love with the fuck, buddy. Yeah. You don't care, and then all of a sudden, really fast, you really fucking care, and you don't want any of them to leave. Yeah. And. You don't want your fuck buddy to leave because you want him to stay and cuddle you, and that's what this house is like. Yeah. Yeah. You want to keep having sex with them all. That's that's how I feel, you know. <laughs> yeah. You just want to have sex with everyone, but yeah. you also know that one of you has to leave, and that's the most fucking heart wrenching part of this very particular Big Brother because it's been very very close and intimate, and we're all so close. Everyone who's in here has shared a part of themselves. A part, all of our hearts are in this house together. Yeah. And that's why it's hard. Yeah. For whoever goes. Kian is catching up with Cameron. It was Kenny that made me realise that I should come up and like hug you. She's like, just go up and do it. He thinks you're odd with him. And I was like, I think he's odd with me. Yeah. And she was like, he's fine. Trust me. He wasn't bitching. He wasn't anything. No, I wasn't. I literally, because Kenny was in, she was in the bed and I said, oh, you know, I've just had enough of today. I said, it's just, I, I don't know what to think. Thomas isn't talking to me. He's not even looking at me. Um, and I said, Kian seems to be acting really, really funny, but I, I, didn't, I didn't bitch about you. I just said, I just, I it's just a it shame. Is. I just said, it's a shame. Yeah. We were just very paranoid at the time about the whole situation and about how it I was looking for us. I jumped the gun. I apologise. Um, I jumped the gun. But I was being I a see, bad bitch. I see, we did see your point. It was upsetting for me to see you both upset, especially you, not trying to discredit Lewis's No, emotion, I know. But I, didn't, I don't like seeing you upset. 
I think I've been quite negative over the last couple of days, and I think for, for good reason to an extent. But I'm hoping tomorrow. Tomorrow to just you will wake be because you got that off your chest today, and I was yeah. the receiving end of it, rightly so. But hopefully, I will take that on, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Mm, and I just want to be a little bit more positive tomorrow. Enjoy the. I am enjoying the experience, but really enjoy it. Enjoy the shopping task, and I want to go forward because I have been still holding back with certain conversations and stuff like that because I'm scared to open up about things. But you know what? I'm going to say fuck it. You know, from tomorrow forward, I'm going to be a little bit more open. I need to be because it's holding me back in here and I don't want to leave here and have any regrets. Some things in life you just actually just have to just do it and don't have a plan and it just comes out and it's just said and it's there and you've done it and then you can just, it's up, that massive relief is off your chest and then you can make sense of it with others around you. Yeah. So yeah, it's a totally a situation where you just have to do it. I feel like it's like, ooh, what's Cameron holding back? I wish I had a big fucking secret to tell the house. Do you have any inkling? Don't say if you do what it is. I have, yeah, several inklings. Oh, <laughs> ominous. Well, no, not several inklings. I have inklings, yes. I planned on this being sorted before I came in the house and the fact that it wasn't, I then planned on it not, not mentioning it the whole time, but we, this is 24 it's too seven hard. and it's not possible. It's too hard. But yeah, if you feel confident enough to do it in this house, fucking do it and run with it and embrace it. It's fucking 2018. Do it. Yeah. You're going to make me emotional. I'm not going to make you emotional. You're going to make me emotional. That's why I'm not going to get emotional. No, you're not going to get emotional. But honestly, everything you're thinking is right. Unless you want to go and murder someone. That's completely wrong. And don't do that, Cameron. But (laughs) everything you're thinking is just so harmless and right. (laughs) Do you want to hug me, Cameron? Okay, hug it out. (laughs) You're so fucking tall. I hate these hugs. You're the best boy, Cameron. <laughs> You're the best boy. Big boy. Big boy, <laughs> getting emotional. Let's Hurry. do it. Thank you. You're more than welcome anytime. Tomorrow night. Hello, welcome Thank to the airlines. Two air, so it's the window seat. Thank you. Will you just make sure that he's not kicking my seat or anything? Of course. Your life jacket is located within easy reach under your seat. <laughs> Call the red tag or use the mouthpiece for further inflation. <laughs> this week, Akeem, Brooke, and Isaac all face the public vote. Who goes? You decide. From a landline, call 090 20 44 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile, call 6. 50, 58, and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. For Akeem, add or one. For Brooke, add or three. For Isaac, add or six. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. If you watch on catch up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. How much does money matter? Two families at opposite ends of the wealth divide are finding out here on Channel 5. Don't miss new Rich House, Poor House tomorrow at 9. Next tonight, it's your bit on the side.